Hi, hello viewers. So today uh, I'm going to show you the topics related with Angular JS uh, 2 tutorial. So this is actually the part of the tutorial which is I am covering uh, from the first uh, few session. So last session I showed you how to uh, sh uh, um, show the data with the strongly typed the single record in the uh, template uh, by using the component and uh, all the related stuffs with the Angular. So just to go through my previous session, I don't want to explain the, uh, all the stuffs in a detail. So uh, just uh, what I'm going to show you today is I have a list of uh, data. So that data I'm going to uh, display in my uh, template. So what you are uh, trying, to, what I am trying to tell is last time I showed you how to display the single record. So this time I'm going to show you how to show the multiple record. So multiple record means like. I going to display some set of records so I have a 10 11 records so that I going to display in my front end so how to achieve this is the today topic it is mean just nothing but the list of records I need to going to show that so I want to show the listings uh, in my uh, is a te technical point of view so uh, how to do the listings uh, listing in the angular 2 is a today's topic okay let's for that I going to uh, create the model for that so you normally know that this is the uh, normally the structure believes that MV architecture so model view architecture model is nothing but the model will hold the records it's the objects of uh, of the uh, functionality that we going to cover so let's uh, go and uh, create the objects for that already that I created with a list of records let uh, go and uh, uh, paste over okay so what I uh, did is I, I created the class with the uh, uh, hero and it ha contains a property called ID and the name and uh, with this uh, uh, class at, uh, with this type so I created one more collection called heroes this is a constant collections with the uh, array of uh, hero so it contains a list of record that it is holding so what I going to show you then how I going to show you uh, so let me explain that so what I uh, going to show you uh, today is so this is the snap of uh, the uh, this is the listings uh, so this is uh, this is the records which um, already uh, that I placed over here in the collection so I going to uh, show this uh, collections uh, in my front end is uh, today's topic that I going to show you a uh, plus uh, on click of um, the record uh, it going to display me the uh, details as well so that I going to cover in the future session let's uh, let me go on to create the list of uh, data then how to display that so let uh, go on to uh, give the title for that okay so I just uh, create the property called title okay H1. then now uh, I going to uh, show uh, this uh, list of records so for that how normally uh, if you are a developer you know that by doing the loop loop mechanism you can achieve that uh, displaying the data so the same way I'm going to follow here uh, here I going to use the ng4 so ng4 helps you to achieve the looping so uh, it it going to helps you uh, uh, to loop the record and it going to display it so same way i going to create for that uh, uh, so lot of way you can uh, show your record in the page so here i going to show by using the ul so let's uh, go on to create the ul okay, okay. and uh, then i going to assign the some class over here so that also I going to explain you this uh, tutorial so let's uh, go on the okay this is the uh, class which uh, I going to create uh, after I create the template so that uh, will uh, keep in a pending stage okay just uh, close the UL so now what is actually the for loop it will do that normally if you are a developer definitely you should know us if you are HTML developer maybe you guys are not aware please uh, go through what is actually the for it going to do and for each it going to do so the same mechanism I going to do so I am applying now um, the list li for each so for that so how to uh, achieve the uh, for loop it's very simple uh, by applying star ng f4 okay then 
you have to write the piece of uh, code so normally if you are a Caesar uh, developer so because here I going to I'm using the TypeScript so TypeScript normally uh, it's based on uh, the related with the uh, uh, Caesar oriented uh, so it's not really but yes if you know the link queue uh, 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 of uh, C sharp then it will be very helpful for you guys uh, to achieve that the same concept it's it's going to achieve so how it will go into is let uh, create the object for the list of heroes okay so what actually I am writing over here ng for let's hero of the heroes so what is mean by the heroes the hero is nothing but this is the instance of the collection so this heroes contain all the da uh, data so from the heroes I going to pick up one by uh, record that uh, it will be assigned over the hero so on every um, loop of the heroes uh, it will uh, go and uh, create the object and it will do whatever the process that we going to uh, do so let's okay span I going to create on span to display the name of the heroes so let's uh, go on to display okay. hero hero dot okay it's a small id so how what is actually the what i'm trying to do so normally uh, so if i'm doing the loop uh, so my object will be created so uh, my uh, that's a single record so every loop it will be hold the single record so from the index uh, one uh, index zero to uh, up to the last it will go into so on the first loop it will go and uh, hold the first record so uh, uh, so that is uh, the property the hero 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 already have the set of uh, strongly typed properties which contain the ID and the name so uh, I going to display the both uh, details uh, in uh, by uh, by uh, uh, by span so let's that's what I am trying to do here hero dot name okay I hope uh, you understand what I uh, try try to uh, achieve here okay I close the line now okay it's uh, done almost the uh, template is created so template what it will uh, say is so uh, please display the title and uh, I created one ul in in that uh, li you just to loop it so ul keep constants so li what it will do is it has a record a set of uh, record of heroes so just please do the loop to loop so every data every instance it will be uh, go on to create like that let hero of heroes so so every time on the loop it will be uh, take into the hero the picture okay and then you want uh, you want to display all the uh, uh, details uh, inside the hero object so hero dot id yes you will get the id of that and the hero dot name hopes you understand as if you are a developer yes uh, if you are uh, uh, C-sharp because I am a C-sharp developer so I am very convenient to use such a mechanism so it's easy for me I am not aware of other technology yes if it is the same process it's very helpful um, but yes, if you are a Caesar uh, uh, developer, you 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 have uh, enough knowledge to understand this. Uh, okay, so let's um, uh, okay. My template is uh, ready now. So uh, I I need to assign this data um, from the app component. So app component, what it is actually? The app component is this component. Uh, the component is a decorator of uh, this app component. App component is a class which have the decorator to a class. So once the component is ready, so from the app component you can pause the values over there. okay here I, I need a uh, uh, two values one is the title and one is the heroes so let's go and pause the title okay and assign the value of title so title is go free launches heroes okay so this is my title and then I need the hero okay so heroes actually uh, the value constant value I going to apply so now uh, heroes uh, has the value
sorry it's a single quote can't find the name here ok one second why it is ok uh, ok sorry the way of assign is wrong so it throws me the error ok let's save this oops everything is done so what I uh, did is quickly I'll explain so uh, uh, so I try to uh, show you uh, some records that is a heroes so that is a uh, heroes of uh, go freelancer so uh, that have the property hero have the basic property of the name and the ID so as of now we have only the name so with the strongly typed model so I created the model which is a hero so with the uh, property hero I created the heroes okay and this is the type which I used so I created the template component so the template uh, component have the basic uh, title and uh, one loop uh, concept so what loop it will go it is doing is it's uh, doing the heroes uh, loop and it is displaying uh, in the uh, view so uh, so uh, here I have the record uh, I need the record of heroes that I uh, assigned uh, in the app component why I assign is a, it's, a, it's a component is a decorator of uh, this class so once uh, uh, the component is decorated so you can assign the property over here so this component uh, this app component have have the component uh, this is actually the uh, behavior of uh, this app component so uh, now it's uh, uh, asking the two properties on its title and the heroes so we are assigning from the app component hopes you understand so let's go and uh, uh, check it out in the browser yes it's got automatically synchronized to me and it's uh, showing because i am using npm that i already explained how it's uh, synchronized yes so uh, default it's got synchronized so all my record it's uh, displaying over here so yes it, it is done so this is the way uh, you guys uh, to display the record um, uh, in the listing so hopes uh, uh, we are uh, clear in how to display uh, the re uh, multiple records so we are uh, still not achieved our basic concepts so uh, let's uh, in the next session i'll show you how to add the styles and how to uh, uh, just uh, um, make the templates work with the uh, uh, style casting so it's very uh, beautiful so and in the future session on click of the every record i, I want to see the depth uh, details of uh, my uh, heroes so these are coming in the future session just stay tuned my session uh, so hopes uh, you understand if you have any doubt queries please command us it's very helpful if you command and share your thoughts on this so uh, yes uh, so uh, I'll try to solve this so thanks for watching the video guys please subscribe our channel if you not subscribed before uh, this uh, tutorial complete tutorial is uh, basically it's uh, located in angular 2 tutorial if you go to my channel playlist yes you will find that so then you can uh, get the benefit of uh, angular 2 tutorial I try uh, by maximum to uh, achieve this uh, um, concepts. Uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. Please subscribe our channel if you're not subscribed before.